Hi guys, Cindy here. Um, today we're gonna do something interesting. I picked up these eyelashes on a seller on walmart.com and so we're gonna try them out. Plus, I was gonna update you on my nails. Last week's nails I was not happy with. I kind of picked the charms off. They were just too bulky. So, I think it was Wednesday night. I tried to redo them and I'm happy with this hand. No, that's not the hand I'm happy with. I'm happy with this hand. I kind of did a French and I glued on charms, but I just used top coat to glue them on. And I've cut this guy a little extra short because he was feeling kind of sore. You know, that's my, my injured fingernail that's growing out. But this hand, I don't like it at all. I wanted to do it the reverse. And um, let's see. And I got too much going on here. On the thumbs, okay, but all the others, I went too high with the foil, and I'd kind of like to trade, change them. But you know, waste not, want not. We might have hard times, so I'm going to go ahead and leave them on a few more days, and then I'm going to try to make these pink last two weeks, and then I'm going to do a one, two, three, go oval. I'm thinking of, or 923 Go Eternal Beige, I'm thinking about. But, um, you know, we might hit hard times, cousin, or it might just be hard to get supplies or something. So I don't want to waste my supplies doing them all the time. Uh, and probably these, the pink base still looks good. You know, possibly I might file it off maybe Sunday or something and put a new design on, but I'm going to leave the pink base on another week. Okay, so what are we going to do? I don't know if I did a video with this or not. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, that boxy charm, I tried to do it another day and it was awful. That is an awful palette. I'm wishing I had my $12 back for it. Uh, but this is the Lunar Beauty from Manny MUA. Um, and it came in last month's premium box. And so I thought I better start using some of those, test them out. Um, and anyway, I can give some of my old palettes to my daughter and granddaughters and stuff, but I couldn't give them as gifts if I've used them. So, um, that charm will probably going to go to the grand girls or something, you know. I was thinking about trying to use it again today, but I just do not want to look like crap all day, even if I am just running around to the store. So, let's try this one. I did use it yesterday, and I kind of like the look. I used kind of a red look. Today, I'm going to use sort of a blue turquoise look because I'm wearing a t-shirt that's peach and it's got um, blue and stuff on it too. So let's get started. I've already put on my primer. Did I do some eye primer? Let's see. I think I did some eye primer, but it won't hurt to do a little bit more. And I already drew on my eyebrows. It's not a whole lot. I think I already did this once. Alrighty. So, um, got my big mirror here. This 7X. Hold on. There's something on my screen. Let's look at it for a second. Legacy extension. We're just going to click OK. Hopefully that will be OK. <laughs> and, um... We're gonna, we want to use a peach. There's not really much peach going on here. Uh, we want to start off with a matte, so, and then put the shimmers on top. And this does come with a nice little brush, but I don't want to mess up my brush, so I'm just gonna use some of the old ones that I already have. And I am kind of hot, so I'm gonna turn the fan on. So, hopefully y'all can still hear me talk. If not, um, you can see me, and I'll get cool in a second, and I'll turn it back off. Okay, so, whew, what to do? We're doing this, okay, we're just going to start off with this um, kind of light brown color here. It does have a name. I can't hardly read it. It's called Sickening. So, I'm not positive. I think Manny might be a dry clean, or at least this palette's kind of for drags, because hence the name, Life is a Drag, so here's a brush. I'm going to put some of that album all in. Oh, 
hopefully that will be okay. It's just sort of, it's a little bit darker than I would have liked to put another color on top, but maybe it'll be okay. And then we're going to do some of this blue down here. And I think the name of it's called Risky. I can't see very well. So. I'm just going to try to bring that up to the corner. And even though it looks sort of a darker blue or something, it does, it looks pretty colorful here. The main gist of this video is putting on eyelashes, so we're not going to go into real detail on the putting on it. Although I do want to good, I'm going to shopping today. Today's Friday, I took a PTO day. I'm using up some um, PTO because I had not done anything over Christmas or anything because I was... Um, saving up for uh, a trip that overseas to Israel. Well, that didn't happen. It's not happening. Okay, so the next color I'm going to put beside it is this kind of this, looks like a minty color, and I think it's called Kiki. That's it. And these are the first time I've used these colors. And the only reason I picked them is because I'm trying to match my clothes. Let's look at the big bear. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on my eye makeup, although I love eye makeup. But that's, uh, that's not the gist of this video. It's the eyelashes that have a little bit of water on it. I'm going to have the top half, I think I'm just going to leave that kind of a natural color, maybe put some shine on it, um, so or some shimmer, and they do have a shimmer, a couple of little shimmer colors here, this one looks kind of shimmery, you can't see very good on my skin, it's kind of skin color, but I think I'm going to use that one on the inside of the eye, this one right here, it's called uh, Beat, there's another shimmery below, it's more of a gold color, but I'm going to take this one because I think it's a little bit more peachy color. I have a yellow here too. I don't know what we do with it. If we look at the cover of it, this is what he did. It looks like he used all the colors except I don't see any yellow here, but looks, other than that, it looks like he used all the colors. So I'm still just kind of patting this on top. So let's see what it looks like in this one. I might do a little bit more of this light blue beside it, darken it up. Okay, uh, we're not going to do a whole lot with that because we want to have time for eyebrows. We need a little bit of highlighter. This one has got a white here, but it's not a shimmer. It's just white, so I'm not feeling it. We might go ahead and do a little bit when we're done up here. Okay, now then let's um, put a little concealer at the bottom of our eye. I'm getting at the end of this Morphe bottle. I think I did a video last week where I thought about doing a video where I used some e.l.f. stuff. Uh, there's just no comparison. You know, if you're on a budget, um, fine, but I like the other stuff better. Like the Morphe concealer, which this here is about gone. I'm just scraping the sides of it right now. I'm going to take the wand and rub it in. And 
And some people on the eyelashes, I've seen some people use mascara. I don't know that I want to use mascara with lashes because I think it kind of defeats the, I don't want to get geeky stuff on them, but we'll see. We'll see what the instructions say. Okay, so now I'm going to try to take a little cleaning brush. Here's something I found. Maybe a little flatter. Here's something I found. And I'm going to go in with this dark blue and that light blue color. So let's look at in the mirror. Oh, and my disclaimer, as you can probably tell, I'm not a makeup artist, I just do what I like. So now I'm going to dip in that lighter blue and put in the inner corner and kind of mix in in the middle. And I guess I can put mascara on the bottom lashes. So we will go put a little bit of mascara on the bottom. Okay, that's all we're going to do on the eyes except for the liner. So, I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil. I'm going to go ahead and line. Now, these uh, lashes I bought got magnetic eyeliner, but I'm still going to draw a line anyway. And I'm not going to put a wing. It seems like I'm messing those wings up a lot. In this big mirror, I can see where I need to blend in some stuff real quick. My concealer is not the same color as my skin, so let's blend this in a little bit with a little bit more BB cream. This is Maybelline. Now then, we'll, we'll go ahead and put a little bit of white in the corners, even though we kind of like some shimmer. Let's see what I've got here. I picked this up at Maybelline. It looks white, but it doesn't really have much color. But we'll see about it. Maybe we can do a little bit of white first. I know how I'm getting it. I'm not using the mirror. And this was the white that was out of the palette that I put on. Now I'm going to kind of go in on top with this Maybelline highlighter. It's called Holographic Master. I picked that up at Walmart. I was hoping to be wider than it is. But it's more just kind of shiny than anything. Good enough. Alrighty, so what are we going to do now? We're going to take the mascara on the bottom lashes. We'll use a little bit of mascara because I have seen people do it, so we're going to use a little bit. And this is Ciate London Triple something or other. It came in a box.
we're not going to put it up much on, just in case the box says, don't use mascara. We definitely need some of the bottom lashes. Just as one coat. So that's all. So let's close that up, let's put our glasses on, let's open up our dirty glasses on, I might say. And grab this. This says, uh, I can't, these are magnetic eyeliner and lashes. I found these on Walmart.com, but they didn't come from Walmart, they're from a different seller. Um, it says, tips. We're going to read the tips. Shaking the bottle before you use it. Then seal the bottle in time after use. Hmm. Sounds like broken English to me. Make sure, number two, make sure pass the allergy test before using the product on the eyelids. Oh, we never do that. We should, but we don't. Performance will be better if you put on eyelashes after the eyeliner dries out completely. Refine the eyeliner line also will protect the performance. So let's go ahead and put the eyeliner on and while it's drying, we will go ahead and read and see what's going on. So I'll open it up. I don't know if I open and look at them or not. If I did, I just stuck them right back in and did my close because I didn't, I didn't want to wear them to work or anything. So this is what the box looks like. These are looks. So I've got five sets. So let's shake the bottle. It said to shake the bottle. There's no insert in there. All you have is instructions on the back and it's sort of a small bottle. So we're going to say shake. So we're going to shake. I'm going to get my big mirror on. Before I do that so I don't get powder on stuff, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of powder. I should have done that for the mascara. I always forget. We can do our blush and stuff later. Okay, good enough. I do have some highlighter in there I can use. It's kind of peach color. So here's our little bottle, tiny bottle of eyeliner. Magnetic eyeliner. And I did put eyeliner underneath it. So that'll... So I'm just going to paint it on. Smells kind of odd. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in again for the other eye. Probably would have been easier if I had done this and then done my mascara, but oh well. Today. We'll know better next time if we can remember. Okay, so we're going to let this dry a second and we're going to read the dress and instructions. Okay, sound good? It says, uh, performance will be better if you put on eyelashes after the eyeliner's dry completely. I can bend down over in front of this fan to help it dry too. Uh, refine the eyeliner line also will will perfect the performance, whatever that means. 
Avoiding the product in or your eyes, okay. Rinse out with clean water immediately if product enters your eyes by accident. Okay. Um, how to use. Now they've got a sticker on the how to use, so I'm going to try to pull that thing off. Not doing very good. Okay, we're just going to get a few words of how to use. Okay, I can read a few lines. It says, reading the above notice on the product, carefully draw eyeliner line along your lash shape to ensure they line close to the roots of your real eyelashes, I think. It says, Bend your magnetic something or other. Take the end, gently adjust. Well, that's about all that I can read from this sticker on here, so we're going to give it a try. So we're going to take one of these. It comes with a nice little uh, eyelash thing. And it, it comes with a little magnetic strip underneath it. So we're just going to see if we can get these on. Now I'm going to use the big mirror. So. And um, this one here, we got to get we got front and back. Okay, we've got this is closer. Okay, I think I need to do this on the right eye because the. This is not like not good. I think I goofed up by using mascara. Okay. I can't believe it. I don't know. It seems a little bit dampened on it. That might been from the magnetic stuff, and it did kind of get some black stuff on my lid, but they feel dry. They feel dry. So let's try this again. It might be easier to do with fingers instead of. It's not, it's not working very well. We might have to forget the eyelashes today and try it another day that we haven't done mascara for. Okay, so one and over here, this is one we did it on. It seems to be kind of locked off that edge. I don't know what it's doing. I'm going to take it out. Try it again. It seems to be sticking sort of. I don't know. So where is that little tool? Okay, I say forget it today. We might try it again tomorrow or another day that we have not used our eye mascara first. It seemed to go right back on the thing real easy. So um, we might try it tomorrow. Well, I don't know about tomorrow. I'm doing something tomorrow night and I don't want to 
wear eyelashes on a day until I kind of get the hang of what's going on. So, there's that. We're going to try it again another day. Glad I don't use up all my stuff. It did feel kind of heavy anyway. I don't know if they're any better than me just using mascara because I do use the eyelash serum so my eyelashes do look okay. I have a lot of people think that I have extensions and I don't. Let's put on a little bit more mascara and I'll show you my natural looks here. They, they do get all kind of jumped up together after trying to do that. So they look like crap right now. After trying to, I don't know who it was, I can't remember her name, someone said to use mascara. Anyway, it was awful. We'll have to practice some more. In front of you guys, of course, y'all don't get the Y'all need to be entertained so y'all can learn how to, learn what not to do. So what we first learned today was don't use mascara first. We don't care what the other people say. They're better at it than us. We're learning. And so it didn't get on, then it messed up my real eyelashes. I think those are about $20.99, so we're not just going to eat it. We're going to try again. Just not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe Sunday. Alrighty. So this is how we ended up looking. And we could not figure out how to do these. We're not sharp enough. But we will figure it out one of these days. So, until next time, you guys have a great day, and goodbye.